Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and this is my Asian pear bear root tree that I got recently in the previous unboxing video. Um, it's uh, the variety's 20th century or Nijisiki, and I'm uh, just doing a quick uh, bear root potting up and treatment uh, video today. And basically, what I normally do myself and recommend doing is putting the trees into a bucket of water the bare root trees to soak for at least a couple of hours you can do it overnight if you want actually um, but as it's particularly cold at the moment probably doing it overnight wouldn't be a particularly good idea because it could get frozen the water which might damage the roots or stems so i've put this into slightly tepid water i'm going to leave it for a couple of hours and go out for a nice uh, a nice walk and then i'll come up come back and hopefully um, be able to do a quick potting up for you as well which will be in the second part of the video catch up with you in that section well hello everyone and welcome back to the second part of the video the actual repotting of the bare root tree um, I've only decided to um, it's, it's the ground's actually quite frozen at the moment which is not the ideal time to be potting up but also you don't want to be leaving bare root trees lying around so they should either be healed into the ground or in my case as they're being container grown anyway I may as well get them into a container now I'm not this is the tree here and the size of the root ball there is some damage on the roots here when it's been dug up nothing unusual with bare root trees and I'm actually going to put it in this size pot here should be big enough for it so I've already put a little bit of compost into the pot I'm not planning to stake the plant now it could go into a large container but I've decided uh, that just for the one year that I think it'd be better off to be in a smaller container just to get it going so what I've basically done is taken a bit of pre-mixed compost that I've got, added some bark to it for drainage, and uh, I've also put some granular fertiliser in. And I'm going to add as well around the roots this root grow, which is a mycorrhizal fungi. Uh, I don't know if it goes back out of date at all. I've had this for quite a long time, but I can't see it doing any harm putting it in the soil uh, you just basically sprinkle it around the new roots Let's see if I can show you what it looks like Let's get this, uh... you don't need a large amount of it basically I don't know if you can see that but it looks like a it's impregnated into a sort of little white crumbly powder it almost looks like a small perlite so I'm just going to sprinkle a scoop of that around the root area you don't need to go too mad and I hope the tree is going to stand up while I get some of the compost into it everything's pretty frozen around here so it's not easy to uh, that easy to get the compost out to be honest I just happen to have a pot this size so it should do fine I'm going to put a little bit more uh, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more granular fertiliser in Some of the compost I'm using is recycled from other pots from plants that have died and I've remixed them with bark and other things. So it'll do it some good having some uh, granular fertiliser in there should revitalise it. I have added, as I said, bark and perlite into this to give it a little bit more um, drainage and make it breathe well although it's not so much of a problem with these hardy fruit trees as it is with the uh, with the more tropical ones that do suffer from root problems granular 
fertiliser. Only needs a very small amount in there mixed into the surface. I'm actually going to finish this off with a bit of bark on top just to insulate the roots and uh, keep any weed seedlings down. Let's give that a firm push. It's not likely to blow over at this time of the year because obviously um, there's no leaves on the plant so it's not at risk. Bearing in mind I'm repotting this in the middle of January. So that's job done. Fortunately you've only got one tree to plot up. Let me lift that up a bit so you can see it. The soil level is roughly the same that it was planted at in the nursery where it's been growing. According to the label, as I said, this is a two year old uh, grafted Asian pear. So I'm going to put this amongst my other pot plants now. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think I really need to water it because the soil's damp anyway and I don't want to encourage the new roots to get frozen. I might just put a very small amount of um, uh, hand, hand sort of cold water from the tap in the kitchen rather than the hose pipe outside because the water I've actually got outside here is frozen, which is not ideal. But um, Bear in mind I've soaked the roots for a couple of hours, two or three hours first, so they should be well hydrated. So as I can probably expect, we're going to be getting frost and possibly rain in the next week or so. This probably doesn't need to be watered in, which I would be doing obviously if we were out of the dormant season. So anyway, I just thought I'd uh, do a quick plotting up of a bare root tree for anyone interested. Um, nothing too complicated over it. I could have put it in a much larger container, but I think this will do for now. And obviously, we'll better follow the progress of this Asian pear throughout the uh, throughout the growing season and see how it does this year. Um, I was considering cutting it back, but I think at the moment I'm probably going to leave it because it's not. It's about six feet tall, which is fine. I might cut the top six inches off it in uh, about April, March or April when it starts to bud out and I might decide to try and use that top growth and graft it onto one of my other more established trees and that should also allow this to branch out a bit lower down possibly we shall see. So thanks for watching the video much appreciate it please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel you can share the video if you think it might be useful to anyone and of course click on the bell if you'd like updates on new videos when they come out i'll catch up with you all soon spread out for now